Well, it's been long enough. I've gotten my vacation. It's time to hit the grind again. Oh, good things can't last forever. I said I was going to finish this. I still, I'm still at it. I'm still going for it. All jokes aside, I still do like this game. But uh, I have been... Uh, I've been putting this off a little bit. I've been doing other streams. Uh, as is usually the case between this stream and the last stream. It was a long gap, but I did get all of the uh, Platinum Relics up to the point that we are at. So, uh... I will be ultimately getting all of the Platinum Relics in this game. I don't know if I'll be getting them all off on, on screen. On stream. I might just settle for gold and then uh, get them afterwards. We'll have to at least get the uh, the final level Platinum on, on stream. But uh, this is what we ended on last time. The first of the uh, the Marsh levels. Which means we're on to the first Dingadile level. I have no idea how this is going to go for Platinum. Oh boy. Oh, Darian. You mentioned on yesterday's stream that uh, you have started Crash 4 for the PS5. And I thought, you know what? Yeah, I should get back to that. Thank you, Dingadile. Uh, wait, do I have to shoot it? Let me get a refresher. Okay, spin, float, and then his thing is... L button. Yeah, L button is the like the abilities button. Can I suck the clock? I can suck the clock. Okay. Probably a little behind already. I lost track of the other guy. Definitely want those, though. Those are going to be important. What's the best way to set these off? If I suck one, it won't activate the others. I can't jump out there, either. Okay. Suck the clock. I do need to suck the clock. That's how you get the best time scores. You just got to do the clock a little service. Okay, now I'm looking for a place to die. That took way too long. How optimistic are you, Darian? How much of this do you think you're gonna do? Are you going to attempt all Platinums in this game? Like, it's, it's hard. This is definitely a, very difficult, but... Is it more difficult than the, the, like, all the gems? Every individual goal in this game is already, like, its own kind of chore. Collecting all the gems was a hassle. Getting all platinum relics will be a hassle. And the, uh, the insanely perfect relics are their own thing, even. Okay, I don't need to bother with you. I guess that's true there. What, they were, is this the only Crash game they gave, like, a proper reward for uh, all Platinum Relics? Because they don't usually do that. They'll expect all Golds, but uh, Platinums are, before this, all, pretty much always optional. The uh, color gems in this game were particularly dickish. There's, uh, there's at least two or three of them. There's, like, no indication of how you would get them. There's a lot of stuff I had to look up for this game. Oh, no. 
Why? It, I'm just letting go early. That must be what's happening. Getting all the insane relics as you go through the game. Yeah. I guess you might as well, since they're all... You get them in tandem with a gem. What happened? Why no work? Uh, maybe it would be faster just sucking the time crates rather than the... Uh, rather than waiting for a respawn on the TNT. Maybe not. No, I think that is faster. That's too fast. There's two secret endings, one for all the gems and one for all the platinums and insane relics. That didn't hurt me somehow. <sighs> so, Darian, have you gotten to the point in the game that you have played as all the characters? And who is your uh, favorite to play as? I don't mind playing as Dingadial. He can be fun, but his uh, the, just the box counts on his levels are outrageous. Bandicoots are definitely my favorites, Crash and Coco, just because they're, you know, they're the Crash gameplay. They're, they're what I come for. The smooth parkour. Tonic can be... Eh. The grappling is kind of fun, but she feels, like, slow and sluggish to play by comparison. Yeah, I just, I was letting go early. Where am I going? Aw, oh, man. I forgot the level layout. Dingadile's a little sluggish, but at least he feels smooth. I think I would say Crash and Coco, then Dingadile, then Tauna, then Cortex don't like playing as Cortex. The dashing and everything is fine, but uh, it's his stupid uh, it's his stupid like gun mechanics that I don't like. The turning enemies into into like bouncers and such. That really slows things down. A lot of Crash is about moving fast for me, which is weird. You'd think that's for something like uh, Sonic. Even Mario. I think that's just like a staple of good platforming though is being able to play the game fast and fluid. I, there's exceptions, like uh, people don't really care about fluidity as much for something like Spyro, because that's more about uh, collectathon. But for challenge platforming. Oh, come on! What? That's always kind of been my issue with Banjo-Kazooie, is that it feels very uh, slow and clunky. He's a, he's a bruiser kind of character. He doesn't jump very high, he doesn't run very fast. Also, my issue with uh, Mario Sunshine is that, yeah, flood like floating makes the platforming easier, but it also makes it way slower. Fortunately, there's a lot of stuff in this level I can just run past. There are three, uh, there were three masks, so in theory, I do want to get all three of them. Man! I don't know if I'm going to. I'd like to. I hope there's not a time crate in there. 
So for the third one, I would have to make it to here. Which would let me just barrel through all these nitros. Not that it's particularly hard to avoid them anyway. Did the enemy... The dude, the dude wasn't there. It was just a floating TNT crate. Oh, switch. The uh, PC port came out between the last stream of this and this stream. I will probably eventually get it, and I will play through this entire game again, because I'm just, I'm a masochist like that. But, uh, I, I, I like me them Steve Chi them Steve Chivos. Them Steve, Steam Achivos. I like the idea of finally having achievements for a crash game. Nope. Ah. Oh, that blows it up. Where am I going? That's out of the way. I don't like that. And I... Okay. That's fine. I don't like these. I don't like how many of these things I have to blow up there are. This is a this is a long level. Why is there so much of this? And I died at the very end. Okay. Do I need I need to blow up that wall, don't I? It exploded. I think it was because the guy carrying the TNT died and the TNT dropped and blew it up. levels in this game are so long it takes so much more memorization than the per than the original crash games I wonder how much better this performs on on uh, on steam because we've seen obviously there was that that glitch earlier with the floating TNT. I think we've seen other, like, performance hiccups over the course of this playthrough. I don't remember them specifically, but I remember seeing them. Can't see. Camera, move forward, please. I need more. <laughs> there he is again. That's the wrong way. Okay, are we gonna get it? We're we gonna get the third guy. We are. All right. Oh, he doesn't get invincibility. Aku does not care about Dingadile. He's not giving him the the invincibility. We're just we're getting so many of them. The dudes just aren't appearing. They're not spawning. Well, that means I have at least one to just tank a hit before that point in the level. There's probably going to be a couple points that I need to, like, tank nitros. Probably going to be these two points, specifically, are going to be really good times to do that. <sighs> Runs better on PS5. Well, yeah, I would hope so. Why It went through again. Why is it going through the door? Kind of weird that Aku is just like here with Dingadile at all, if you think about it. This is before he like allied with Crash or anything. He's just here. He's just going about his business. Maybe it's not Aku Aku. Maybe it's just some other random uh, voodoo shaman mask hanging out here in Dingadile's hood. 
Hello, Crossed. Welcome to the stream. I believe I started this when it came out for the Switch, because at that time there was not, uh... There's no reason to expect, uh, a PC port. Maybe I waited a little while. Maybe I gave it a year, because usually the, the PlayStation series are uh, timed exclusives for a year. And then they get released on other things like PC or, or, or a Switch. Was this on, P on PlayStation before Switch? Did they wait a year before the Switch version? I got it on Switch, and then two years after the game came out, they finally put it on Steam. Which, if I'd known, I probably would have waited for that version. Okay, can't really walk through that. You got Platinum and PS5. The uh, Platinum Trophy? Like, the all-trophies thing? Are there any especially weird achievements? or uh, trophies for this game. I haven't looked at what the uh, achievements and or trophies are. What did I do? I 100%ed a game recently on Steam. I was Splunky 2 and then I did something else. Waited a year later until it came to the Switch. Okay. So that's why I assumed it wasn't going to be on Steam, because uh, they did the timed exclusive for a year thing. And then it came out on Switch and not on PC. I was like, okay, I guess it's just not getting a PC version. It was also when Activision was really trying to push their uh, their own... What What's their PC market? Blizzard, Activision? They have their own Steam Everyone has their own Steam, and no one likes to use it, so, uh... Maybe it wasn't until, like, that failed before they decided to put it on Steam. Ubisoft has Origin. Battle.net, that's it. Called it that because uh, Blizzard is Overwatch 2, isn't it? How's that doing? People still playing that? Let's tank this. This is the best place to use it. There's an Overwatch 2? I didn't even know that. What is the perfect video games for you? Uh, I don't know about the perfect video games. My favorite video games are, uh, the Mega Man Battle Network series. Very happy that got a collection recently. Nice to see, uh, people playing that for the first time. The, uh, Tony Hawk series. Specifically, Tony Hawk 4 is my favorite. Darian, you should do a stream of that. You gotta play the Eddie the, Eddie the Zombie skateboarding game. Smash Brothers, I play a lot of. And Crash is prop. Crash is my favorite platforming series. I do play a lot of Crash. I have 100%ed uh, all of the Crash... Well, the, the main trilogy platforming games. On stream. Got all Platinums in, uh, the original Crash 3. Actually, no, I didn't do that on stream. I did, I did do it. That was, uh, more difficult than the end, uh, the Insane Trilogy version. They really like, they softened the load for the Insane Trilogy. They made everything a little bit easier.
I even liked Wrath of Cortex. Kind of, a little bit. I kind of liked Wrath of Cortex. Wasn't big on Twin Sanity. Obviously didn't like the like weird beat em up PS2 games. I played them, I streamed them. I didn't enjoy them, but I did stream them. And Crash Tag Team Racing was probably the worst game I ever streamed. Besides Rascal, it takes a lot to top Tag Team Racing. That was bad. I am O. Whoops! There was no place to land there. One of these days, one of these days. Oh, the skateboarding thing. I should probably say Pokemon is one of my favorite series, but... If you include that, like, that's everyone's favorite series. Who doesn't like Pokemon? It's also not, like, a series of games that I ever think are, like, amazing best ever game design. There's never been a perfect Pokemon game, in my opinion. Because they've never really had to try that hard. Like, they got it right. They got, they got their big idea and everyone loved it. And they didn't really have to innovate a whole lot after that point, because everyone just kept buying Pokemon games. And everyone is still just continuing to buy Pokemon games. The open world stuff is nice in uh, Scarlet Violet. Appreciate that. Tag Team Racing is bad. I, I, I'm not going to tell you not to enjoy it. If you enjoy it, great. Good for you. I don't know how, but uh, good for you. I'm not going to take that from you. I, too, enjoy masochism. Look what I'm playing right now. I thought Master of Disguise was an okay movie. I have guilty pleasures. Man! Rocket League DS. Rocket League DS. That has to be a typo. There, Rocket League was not on the Nintendo DS. There's no way. Rewatch the Kadikrus review on a Crash 4. Five hours of a great casual game and 60 hours of misery. You know what? I've only been dreading this because I'm streaming it. If I wasn't streaming it, if this was just a thing for me to, like, do in my free time... This would be great. This is, this is a game that you can put a lot of hours into. If you're a Crash player, if you like Crash games, and you're looking for a game to really get, like, invested in and kill a lot of your time, this does that. Look, I've been playing Hyrule Warriors for the past week. This game's tedious, but it's not that tedious. I'm gonna miss Linkle when she's never used again. I'm also, like, pretty good at, at Crash games, so... I guess take my opinion with a grain of salt. If I were the kind of player who, like, loves to get 100% in games, but, uh, is not that good at Crash, then yeah, th this, this would suck. I am, in fact, trying to 100% this game, Heckle. Mr. Jack. I have already gotten all of the, uh... All the gems, all the insane perfect relics, whatever those are called. And I've done all of the uh, flashback takes. So the only things I have left to do are all the platinum relics. 
which I've done in every other Crash game, so we're doing it here. Mama didn't raise no quitter. I did not 100% the uh, Crash Team Racing remake. Actually, I did. I'm pretty sure I 100%ed Crash Team Racing, the original, at some point in my life. I didn't do it on stream, because all Platinum Relics is just kind of time consuming, it's a pain. I don't think I ever successfully got all Platinum Relics in Crash Bash, because that is even more of a pain. And you're at the whimsy of RNG a lot. I liked Crash Bash. Crash Bash is one of my favorite Crash games. Talking about guilty pleasures. Everybody loved Crash Bash, or so I've heard. Have you heard? I, I don't really... I guess I don't hear from a lot of Crash fans. Are y'all in, like, uh, Crash Discords or something? I don't really know what's uh, popular with uh, the Crash community. I heard from Darien that Twin Sanity apparently has, like, a big following, and people want it to be remade. And we've had this discussion on stream before, is that that game was so obviously unfinished that I don't know what they could do with a remake. Like, if they actually add the content and story needed to finish the game as intended, then people will complain that it's too different from the original. But if they do it, like, exactly like the original, it's just gonna be an incomplete game again. Maybe people would like it if they actually finished it as the game was, like, originally envisioned. People seem to like the uh, Final Fantasy VII remake, quote-unquote, because that's doing, like, something totally different with the story. Alright. These aren't the Nitros. There's gonna be the other batch of Nitros! Never mind! Crash 5 is coming soon. Is that another rumor going around? I'm waiting for Spyro 4. I don't think we're getting Spyro 4, though. Didn't... Doesn't Activision, like... Didn't they, like, close all of their studios? They just hijack everyone just to make... Just put everyone on Call of Duty. Isn't that their MO these days? if they just ported Twin Sanity as it was. It's not even really the glitchiness of the game that, like, hurts it. I'm still actually in the... I am so backlogged on highlight videos. I'm still in the middle of uh, Wrath of Cortex highlights. So, uh... Oh, after that, I did what? one stream of Nitro Kart, and then I did Twin Sanity. I think Twin Sanity will have a good, like, highlights video. There was a lot of goofy shit that happened in that game, and there was a lot that I remember we talked about. New Spider-Man. There's always a new Spider-Man coming. That's every superhero genre. They're never gonna let it die. There's more Spider-Man cut media coming out. There's another Batman movie in the works. The sky is still blue, water's still wet. Dragon Ball will never end. Anyone saying anything about that new uh, Pokemon series? 
they finally had the gall to retire Ash. And, uh... Is anyone watching the new one? I should have tanked that. A little bit of a time sink. I didn't want to risk, like, spinning, though. Oh, boy. I'm in blind territory now. I don't remember the rest of this level. And I got no masks left. Don't shoot me, please! I'm really forgiving of glitchy games when it starts crashing is where I draw the line. Did, uh, Twin Sanity crash? <laughs> Did for me. I see. That's rare. I, I don't ever hear of, like, PS2 games crashing. Emulators, sure. Were, were you emula emulating? Or, like, on a hardware PS2, the game just, like, gave up and quit. I guess if you've got, like, uh... Eh. You got, like, a scratch disc or something that happens. Can I just go through this? I cannot. No, the mask will not save me from getting, uh, stirred. I've also said this before. I don't love the like, ultra-cartoony direction that the series took after... Well, kind of after Crash 2, but especially from Wrath of Cortex onwards. Crash always had a bit of cartooniness to it, but it was more of a... It was more subtle. The beauty of early Crash was, like, how little dialogue there was and how, like, not in-your-face the comedy was. Okay. Well, I guess I could just go around that. Is that worth... I think there's only one time... It looked like there was only one time stop crate in that, uh, in that batch. Maybe going around is better than, like, bothering with the, uh, the one-second stop. We're getting this a lot. These guys are failing to spawn constantly. It is kind of funny, but it's also very noticeable. Also, this game was, uh, this was patched between this and the uh, last stream. We got, uh, I think there's, like, multiplayer now? Man! Comedy can be subtle even with dialogue. It can be. Crash from Wrath of Cortex on isn't. Definitely is not subtle. Oh, uh, no, I need that. This game does better. This game is, like, a lot better with its, like, writing and sense of humor and characterization than, uh, the bulk of the Crash series between here and 3. That one's not too bad because I can, like, continuously run forward. It's that batch of nitros where I have to stop and wait for the thing to, to fly. 
it uh, eats up a little bit of time. Okay, now I have two masks, so I gotta eat one of them before my next, uh, next mask pickup. That would be a good place to do it, those nitros. Pretty fast on these stubby little legs. Yeah. Okay. So the, those that first batch of nitros is the best place to uh, eat a mask the first time. Then I'll be at two masks again here. Yes, burn them on these nitros. It seems like the best opportunity. If I land on those just right, I don't have to waste any time. I don't like being maskless for this part of the level, though. This guy. Ah! Man. Favorite aspect of the uh, mid 2000s crash was the addition of Spiral Mouth. Spiral Mouth was good. It was a very uh, fitting choice for the crash series. I wonder how quickly they would, the novelty would run out, though. Like, if Spiral Mouth did the soundtrack for this game, would it get old? Because you spend a lot of hours in this game. What did I watch? I watched, uh... I watched Joel stream an old uh, Sega CD masterpiece called uh, Sewer Shark. It was not a masterpiece. It looked pretty terrible as a game. But uh, it had uh, music by Mark Mothersbaugh, a guy from Devo who was also the composer for the Crash games. And Rugrats. Dude did a lot of random stuff. Why, why did I do that? I'm just. My plan is to tank that. Dude has a very mixed body of work. I dare say Crash is probably his best, because the original Crash trilogy, it's hard to have a really unique music style. Crash manages, though. Crash and Spyro both managed to have, like, an identity. Musically, which a lot of those kinds of uh, attempted mascot platformers didn't. I have a soft spot for Croc, but even that is like, what, what's what's its theme musically? Pizzicato? I think I showed it to uh, Wickersham and he said the soundtrack sounded like MIDI. I seem to be the only one who likes the Croc soundtrack. We can get to the end of this and we're gonna get like sapphire. 
I'm going to spend an hour on this level and still not get platinum. Croc is getting an AD re HD remaster. Hello, where do you hear that from? I'm going to need a source on that, because I'm very interested if that's true. What happened to... Croc was made by Argonauts. Who, I don't remember what they did before Croc, but after Croc, they did the Emperor's New Groove PS1 game, which I also played. Seeing that pop up in your feed. Well, I hope it's confirmed that it's not just like a rumor. I don't remember quite how successful Croc was. Croc 1 sold a lot more than Croc 2, and both were heavily outsold by Gex. Which is extremely disappointing to me because Gex is kind of garbage. Sorry, Gex fans. It was just kind of mediocre gameplay, full of cultural references that don't don't really hold up. It was a meme game. It was, hey, you know that thing you know? Look, I'm gonna reference that thing you know. Laugh. That was Gex. Alright, well, I have an extra mask this time. Never mind. fan of Gex. Uh, which Gex games did you play and or like or own as a kid? I only had the uh, 3D one on PlayStation. I think it was Gex Enter the Gecko. Then I, later as an adult I bought the first Gex thinking it was that game and it wasn't. It was like a it was like a 2D platformer. Then there was the N64 one, which I think was very similar to the PS1, but different. It blew Rascal out of the water. I can give it that. Gex is better than the single worst video game I've streamed. Ain't that a compliment. Oh, I'm out of masks. And I got shot. Gex 2. First one on the... Oh, the first Gex game was on the PSP Marketplace. What was the... What was the third one? There was a third Gex? Must have also been on PS1, right? They didn't make, like, a PS2 Gex. Also, like a Game Boy one. That's probably an a port of the uh, first game, I imagine. I remember here, may maybe it was one of these did you know, did you know gaming things. I remember hearing a story about the first Gex, where uh, the level designer got like uh, one of his ideas got canned or removed from the game without him being consulted, and he got really pissy and uh, like holed up in his office and re-added it to the game without telling anyone. Something like that. It sounded like a slightly uh, troubled production series. Not to the degree of, like, Bubsy, but... Her tales of the uh, Bubsy studio being full of, like, drawings of Bubsy hanging from a noose and just things like that. The, the people working on Bubsy hated Bubsy. N nobody liked Bubsy. Bubsy was such an ugly baby that not even his parents liked him. Well, 
which is sad, but also kind of deserved. I, I, I'm not going to die on a hill defending Bubsy, sorry. Why is he still getting games? Where's Spyro 4? No, make that instead. Don't make another Bubsy for Steam. Like, no, not the... <sighs> Waste of several seconds. Okay, we're back here again. Those dudes are just non-threats. No, blow up. Please. There we go. Does, maybe it just blows up when I get close. Maybe that's all it is. Alright, I'm gonna guess gold. Yep. Uh, I need to shave off quite a bit. That's okay. I'm going to continue only focusing on gold for the stream. I'll get, plat I'll get the platinums for these levels off stream. can't believe... I, I don't know if I'd say Bubsy made a comeback. They made new games for him because of his, like, mimetic presence, but I don't think they were successes, were they? Like, did anyone buy the new Bubsy games? No, I'm talking about, like, an, a Spyro 4 in the same vein of this, like Crash 4. Yeah, Spyro 4 on the PS2 was atrocious. We streamed it. We did, like, we spent, like, half an hour streaming. I knew it was atrocious before that stream. I, I owned it, tried it, and I was like, this doesn't feel like Spyro. This feels like shit. That was, that was a little, like, 12-year-old Zellrog saying that. And, uh, yeah. Never finished it. Never played, never played very far in it. I found out later, I think, I don't remember who did a video on it, of just, like, how broken and rushed the game was. Just making sure there's no crates back here. Like, in the speed run, you can, like, get into the end of the game in, in, like, ten seconds. It's so bad. Okay, so they were good about only having time stop crates after the, uh... Alright. Enter the Dragonfly, yeah. They did it right with Spyro. Which was Spyro 5? What was after Enter the Dragonfly? Oh no, I forgot. I gotta do the stupid spinning thing. Oh, that, that's a mechanic I don't like in this game. The spin to go fast. I don't have to do it here, thankfully, but... Missed one. Ah, oh, missed my opening. Let me in. Let me through. Okay, they drop faster than the Dingadile ones. A Hero's Tale. I did not play Hero's Tale. That was still in the same era of them. Who owned it at the time? I guess it was Activision, right? I had, like, uh, Spyro... I had Crash Purple or Spyro Orange, one of those, on the Game Boy Advance, and all the characters in that era of both franchises just looked like they had, like, crack eyes. It was very unsettling. And then I hear some amount of praise from people about the, uh, the Legend of Spyro series. The, like, really serious ones. It's really hard for me to pe take people's recommendations seriously because there's there's a lot of a lot of people don't tend to see through nostalgia. It's just whatever people grew up with is what they'll recommend. 
I hate to be cynical like that, but, uh, yeah. In my opinion, most people are not very good at, like, critiquing video games. Let me on. I need that! Ah! Spiral looked hideous in Skylanders. Yeah. You should look up the, uh, the, the mug shots from uh, Crash Purple Spiral Orange. On average, that game looked even worse than, uh, than Skylanders. I wonder if it would be faster to platform over the top. Actually, I wonder if that's even possible to go all the way over the top. Whoops! I didn't think I'd, ho I'd hooked on. Let me see if I can go over the top. Let me see if that's possible. Nope, I want that, though. No, don't! <sighs> okay, how, where would I have to go? Uh, <laughs> no. I would have to bounce on this crate. I couldn't make it to the next crate. Now, it'd be cool, but I don't think it's possible to platform. Kill me. Let me die. I wish to die. I no longer want to exist in this realm. Shao Kahn, please! I keep accidentally boarding the surfboard. I don't want on the surfboard. What if I just press nothing? Okay, there we go. See, in Crash 3 levels, I would get super anal like this, and I would come out with the uh, the Platinum Relic just because I was that anal during the level. That's not going to happen in this game. I'm going to be, like, super intense and try to do everything right, and I'm still going to be 10 seconds short of a Platinum time. I might have to, uh... I'm gonna have to wait, a, like, a second or two at the start of the level for, uh, optimal mine placement. Optimal. Being able to critically think about video games doesn't mean anything about having to like them less, Jack. But it's good to think about them objectively if you're thinking about, like, recommending them to other people. Especially people who don't have the nostalgia that you have for the game. Yeah, Bob and Weave. Jet Moto. Let me in. Ah! I wanted those. Yeah, skills! Missed one. Man, I wanted that. Let me on! Ugh. Pardon me, wishes they do a crash handheld collection. Eh. I don't know how many people necessarily have nostalgia for the uh, crash handheld games.
Whoops. purple growing up that's not even the kind of games we're talking about we're not talking no we're not gonna we're not gonna remake crash purple no it's interesting to see a game that started in 3d get 2d games later in its lifespan yeah there were a couple of things you could argue were like that but uh there's cases like, uh, like, uh, Banjo and Conker, which I think technically the 2D games did come first. But everyone knows them as the 3D games, and the, the 2D games were never, like, the focus of the franchises. I wonder what the, the full story behind, uh, Conker's Pocket Tales was. Because I'm pretty sure it was being made alongside Bad Fur Day, originally. Banjo might have came out in 3D first, and then got the, uh... Was it Grunty's Revenge, was I think the, the handheld game? Which was still kind of in the vein of the 3D games, because it was like top-down... The same for Conquer, I think. That was a top-down game. So they weren't, like, proper 2D platformers or anything. <laughs> I guess the Tony Hawk games count. Those started in 3D and then got uh, very questionable handheld ports that were, like, nothing like the, the 3D games. And they were 2D. They were, they were side-scrolling Tony Hawk games. They made it a mission to put that franchise on every console that existed. That shit was on the end gauge. Probably. Croc got a, a very questionable handheld port of some kind. I don't know the details of what that game played like. The handheld Croc. And the uh, handheld Spyro games were also top-down, so, uh... Yeah, I can't think of any besides Crash that went from, like, uh, 3D to, uh, having 2D hand platforming handheld games. There was a Turok handheld game, wasn't there, on, like, GBA or something? Imagine a Donkey Kong 64, uh, D-Make. In a 2D style. trying to get in there in time to one cycle that second moving platform because that's going to save me more time than going for that third uh, that third time crate that's the main thing I'm going for and I keep I keep dying for it there we go that's what I want yes sir now watch me die immediately to the platforming parts. No masks. Ah! No, I needed that. Ah, I needed to one cycle that. Turok Evolution. I, I know that was on the PS2 because my brother had it. They they quote unquote ported it to handheld.
Has there ever been, like, a good handheld port of a game that was originally on a console? I feel like that just doesn't happen. But it's every time that's just a cash grab of the company trying to get it on as many different consoles as possible. And the handheld port is always just atrocious. And nothing like the 3D game. No, I want that crate. Yes! No, I missed it! Ah, uh, there's an Aku Aku up there I could get. Let me up, please. Let me move. There is. It's a crash game. Oh, yeah? Is it tag team racing? Heard people claim the DS version of Sonic Colors. By people, as you mean saucy? How far can I go doing this? Ah, oh, man, there's nitros there I, I gotta worry about. To some degree, I have to get ahead of the boat in order to uh, set off, like, the TNT early for this part. There's nothing up there. Okay, back to running. Can we be done with this? I don't like these speeder parts. Oh, I missed a crate. Mask came in handy. Don't die now, me. Live, me. Oh, I don't want to do this again. Missed a couple time crates. Hello, fake crash. Ain't nobody got time for you right now. No! Crash Bandicoot XS. What what is Crash Bandicoot XS? Fan games don't count. I'm talking about official releases. If we're talking fan games, then we got to include the uh, 2D remake of Sonic Adventure, Big's Fishing Jamboree. Which is just the best entry in the entire Sonic franchise, hands down. I don't think it was actually called Big's Fishing Jamboree. It's, there's a there's a fan game. There's like a Genesis uh, ROM hack. It's just a fishing game with Big. I should get Jack to play that. Tell him it's like a long-lost official... Uh, like, prototype for a game that was going to be on the Genesis. See if he believes me. Crash XS, a f other GBA game. I didn't know there was another GBA game. I knew about, uh, Huge Adventure, Entrance, Purple and Orange. Was it released in all regions? XS. I also know there was a, uh, there was a Crash Bash sequel, quote-unquote. Maybe not sequel, there was another Crash Party game called Crash Boom Bang on the uh, Nintendo DS that I've thought about looking into just to see how bad it was. I haven't forged the courage to try streaming that yet. There was, a, there was also a weird period where there were a bunch of Crash Mobile games. I think there was a third-party game on mobile, and there were a bunch of racing games, which is where Yaya Panda comes from. 
Excess is the huge adventure. It's called Excess in Europe. Okay, that, that explains it. So I, I, di I did have the down low on all the Crash handheld games. Was Entrance still called Entranced in Europe? I like how they had to rename uh, Ratchet & Clank 2 because, oh dear, going commando, that's a bad message for the kids, can't have that! They'll think these furry creatures are running around without undergarments! <sighs> Missed the one cycle again. Second time, I failed to realize that I had already grabbed the rope. Still in trance, okay. I never played any of the handheld games as a kid, other than the, the purple or orange, whichever one I had, but, uh, I played Crash Nitro Kart, and there was, like, an entrance had his own team. I was like, who the hell's this guy? Why, why is, like, one of the egg aliens from Jimmy Neutron in this game? point of the stream where I'm making noises. <sighs> How long have I been going? Probably less than an hour so far. Uh, 107. Okay. Thought today might be a short stream because I just, I, I, I need to like buckle down and get back into this. The hardest part of a task is starting it again. I'm not going to start a level and not finish it, though. Like, we're definitely doing this level. Would be nice if I could finish the swamp. <sighs> Would be nice if I could one-cycle this rope again! I did it before! Got worse since then, I guess. I don't trust myself spinning over these boxes. Same with Nina Cortex. Nina Cortex appeared in one of the handheld games before Twin Sanity. Okay, which one? I don't know if that's necessarily, like... Okay, okay, but is it, like, her first canonical appearance in such that, like, she was meant to be introduced in this handheld game and then you're supposed to play Twin Sanity and be like, Oh, that character, I remember her. Or did she just... Was she just in both games at the same time? Like, they were being made at the same time. Because that's kind of the case with Cream the Rabbit. She was supposed to be... <sighs> her first game was supposed to be... One of the advanced games or something? And she ended up appearing in Sonic X, I believe, was her first appearance. And also one of the advanced games, and also Sonic Heroes, because they were all being made at the same time. Okay, I missed the time crate, but I one cycled the rope at least. Nope. 
I'm missing a lot of these spins. One of the crossover games with Spyro. Okay, so purple or orange. Yeah, that's a, that's a technicality. That's not like this is meant to be her big premiere game. Nope, let me through. <sighs> yeah, Twin Sanity was definitely meant to be the character's introduction. Cream just kind of appears. She doesn't really get an introduction. She's one of those characters that she shows up and she's like, Oh, Cream, you know, the rabbit character. She's always been here. You know our old friend Cream. You don't remember Cream? She had one of those kinds of introductions. Which is to say, a lack of one. Yes, my precious. It wants to play the Crash Bandicoot, but it only has Crash 4. Why does it only have Crash 4? I want to play the easy Crash. Do you think anyone has done a Lord of the Rings Gollum stream entirely in the character of Gollum? They've got a Gollum little VTuber in the corner. They're doing the stupid Gollum voice the entire stream through every single word. All Gollum, all the time. Going back to the trilogy after this is going to be a cakewalk. I did mention this before, I never found the original Crash games especially hard. At least compared to, like, other platformers. Like, when I thought of hard games, Crash was not a series that came to mind at all. I'd think, like, Mega Man, NES. I was in the NES era. I knew what hard games were. Why, why, no, why no grab that time? Uh, even before playing this, I was I was confident enough in Crash 2 that I did that all Platinum's run in a single sitting. It was granted it was an 11 hour sitting, but we did it. One stream all Platinum's 100, 110%, whatever the final percent is. Crash did have some hard levels. Yeah, sure. It was mostly the 100 percenting that was difficult in Crash. It, it, I guess it's a, a little tricky platforming. For, like, Road to Nowhere or things like that, but, uh... You now, the real pain in the ass in the, in the Crash games was, like, uh, Cortex power. Levels that you'd have to backtrack on multiple routes to get everything. And all the relics, but that was only in Crash 3. Also, the worst relics weren't even because of the times. They were because of, like, bad game design. Looking at you, motorcycle levels. You just had to clear the track. When we picked up the relic, that's all you had to do to make it, like, good. But no, they don't clear the track. They keep the stupid AI, like, on a path racers on the track. So the optimal way to do the relics is to spend, like, two minutes sitting there at the start of every attempt doing nothing while the racers clear the track. And it's super tedious and bullshit. Thankfully, I had an emulator when I did, uh, the, my last time playing Crash 3 PS1 was emulated. So I could just, like, use the speed up to make that go better. Couldn't do that on the Insane Trilogy. And they did not, uh, they didn't fix that. They also didn't bother to add, like, restart buttons in levels. 
an insane trilogy. There's a restart button if you're doing a, a time trial, but uh, not, for example, if you're doing the motorcycle level and you want to, uh, you're trying going for the gem and you miss a crate. There's no resetting. You can't even kill yourself, you can't go in a pit. You gotta either finish the race or you gotta load the warp room and load the level again. It's a great set of remasters, but there's a couple dumb decisions that they fail to consider while making them. We can, uh... We can check on, like, the PlayStation and Steam versions of these games. Like, the achievement results. How many people have 100% in the Crash Trilogy versus how many people have it in Crash 4? Uh, obviously, it's going to be a, a disparity. I'm curious how much of a disparity. Like, how many people were able to complete the original trilogy, just totally everything? But were not able to do it, compared to the people who were actually able to do it in Crash 4. I'm going to guess the original trilogy is going to be like, uh, 0.02%. And Crash 4 is going to be a number so small that it, it is like, it's below the 0.01% minimum. They're both going to be a very small number of players. Why grab the rope, Coco? Last level in this game? Yes, the last level in this game was very difficult, just to just to get to the end. I have gotten the uh, insane, the insanely perfect relic on it. The uh, time trial is going to be similarly nightmarish, because both cases you have to do it all in one single sitting with no checkpoints. That said, I will do it. It'll happen. You know I've never completed that I feel like I should is uh, Super Meat Boy. I don't actually like the, uh, I don't like Super Meat Boy that much or like uh, Celeste because they're like such small self-contained challenges. Maybe that's a weird thing to complain about. It just, it, it kind of feels like it takes away the sense of progression if I'm not, like, moving between areas with checkpoints. Cutscenes. Something. Something different from just a list of levels. I don't know, I just find that less satisfying. Uh, Celeste isn't, like, a list of levels. But it's, it's like a lot of self-contained rooms, is what the platforming in that game is. I would have really liked that mask. I should probably get that mask in future runs. Assuming that I don't beat it this time. Hey, this is the run. This is the time. Insane Trilogy, 0.7% got Platinum. That's more than I was expecting. Why did I slide so far? 0.2%... Oh! 0.2% got Crash 4. So that's... One in 500 players. Honestly, that's more than I was expecting. Wow, one in 500 players actually just did everything in this game. They pulled it off. Good job, one in 500. Why did they not bring back the sprinting power? Is it not in this game? I don't actually love the sprinting power. It doesn't really add any, like, depth. It just means you have to hold a button the entire time you're playing. And even then, 
slide jumping is faster. So for time trials, for, for relics, either way, you're doing like a repetitive motion the entire level through. I do prefer slide jumping to this, uh, this weird spin timing thing. Granted, the spin timing is more skill-based, I just don't like it. It's kind of, kind of counterintuitive. And it's very, very, like, mat repetitive mashing the same button over and over again. Even if you have to time it. What would a side-scrolling doom be like? Can you picture that, Darian? 0.6 got platinum in uh, CTR Nitro Fueled. I wonder if I've got that. I don't think... I, I think I, like, I got bored of that game before I, like, totally finished it. I think I'm still technically in the middle of it. There's a lot... There's a lot to do in that game. Very similar to this game. Except I just, I like this one a lot more than I like CTR. Oh, they give you multiple masks for this section. That's nice of them. Nice. It's the only time you're ever going to catch me calling the devs of this game nice. Alright, I ate my mask. Really need to get that one on the right. No! Noises. It was not worth going back for. There we go. Okay, I got it. I don't want to waste it immediately! There's a whole lot of time wasted there. There's a there are 2D Duke Nukem games? When did that happen? Were they for Game Boy? I'd rather just hold a button. I'd rather do neither. Talking about personal preference, I guess. No! Ah, I fucked myself! Like, if we're gonna make it basic and not something you have to, like, do with timing or skill, but just may have the default run, run, run speed. Let's go back to Crash 1. It was this, The run power-up was especially annoying because you effectively couldn't do... It wasn't worth doing a lot of the relics until you'd already beaten the game. Because it took that far to get the power-up you needed to do the relics right. Okay, good rope timing on this one. Duke Nukem started as an NES game. I did not know that. I, di I didn't get the chance to read that whole message. Believe it or not, it is difficult to look at chat while playing this game. The mask. Okay, good run. Good run. Before they eventually copied Doom and went first person. Wait, how... What was the first Duke Nukem game on? It was on, like, PC and... Or DOS and N64, wasn't it? No, it wasn't on N64. PS1? Or was it only on DOS? Or only on PC?
I was gonna say, that sounds very uh, Duke Nukem forever -y. How long was the first Duke Nukem in development? Is every Duke Nukem game just in development for 10 years? How do you start on NES and then end up on, like, N64? How do you end up copying Doom? Not worth it. Wasn't worth going back, and now I don't have a mask. Oh, I need a mask for this part. Okay. I'm gonna do it. This is the run. This is the time. Maybe not. Okay, I missed that one crate. That's alright. I don't need every single crate. I, can I, do I need to not be boosting? Do I get to the, I can't turn in time if I'm boosting in that pot, in that spot. I know Duke Nukem was like a parody of like, uh, like, like Serious Sam was kind of the unironic version of Duke Nukem, right? It was supposed to be spoofing those types of games. I also heard recently... I watched someone play the uh, Alien Trilogy game on the PS1. And heard that that was supposed to be a... Uh, that was supposed to be Doom? No, Doom was supposed to be an Aliens game. Before it became Doom. You know anything about that, Darian? Duke Nukem on NES release 1991. Oh, so it was... They released the NES game. I thought you meant, like, it was planned for the... It was in the planning stages on the NES, and then it just... It kept getting reworked until it was on the... On the PC... On the PS1. Which would be a, a Duke Nukem Forever style development story. That's a new site. That's a new pattern. I haven't done that yet. Missed the box again. Uh, I'm gonna have to do this like totally perfectly for platinum, aren't I? Just every single box just right. Every rope, everything first cycle. Oh, this is gonna be. I'm gonna have to do this off stream, and it's gonna be a nightmare. Any level that has things you need to try to one cycle, or anything you have to wait for, is such a pain for time trials. That was like what made Crash's one relic. That was the only thing that made them, like, difficult. Was levels you had to wait for things, and there's a lot of that in Crash 1. Alright, got a mask again. I meant specifically the notion that uh, Doom was originally... Like, it was supposed to be... Who was it? Uh, who was it? Id. We are supposed to make an alien game. But the contract fell through, and so they made their own game, which was Doom. 
Is that is that just hearsay? Is that a bunch of nonsense? Why did I do that? Why did I go so early? My brain's rotten. My brain's gone golem. Nope. I need that box. That box is too easy to not take. Amazing that the series has the, the the species has survived this long. If this is their day, daily life. Aren't they endangered bandicoots? Intentional. Said they wanted to base it on something more akin to Dungeons and Dragons. Is that just a thing people like to do? Is take a shooty-shooty pew-pew game and say, Okay, we'll, we'll include minor fantasy elements. I guess, I, I mean, Doom. If they went that direction, then they did it first. But, like, uh, then Bungie just, like, latched on hard. Because that's like their whole identity. They do that with Halo and Destiny. I should see if I can like uh, just jump on that TNT crate. Because that would set off the time crate. kind of been trying to time the, the clock spins, but uh, looking at it, I could probably base my timing on where the uh, that horizontal platform and the distance is. I say I should jump on that TNT crate. I don't know if I'll have time, though.
Okay, let me try when it arrives on the right. That's when I'll start. See how that works out. It's a little early. Failed the one cycle. A mask. Would like to get the second mask. That'd be swell. And make it through. Yes! Alright, two masks. That doesn't help a lot here because our main obstacle is not, like, falling off. But, uh... We make it to the end of this section. I don't know why you even jump ahead here. It's more risky than anything. Why am I even sliding? I can just crouch under these. That's way safer. Alright, final rush. I have two masks. This is the run. This is the time. Is Coco still voiced by Jimmy Neutron? Has that changed? Or is it still her? Okay, gold. Oh, I'm playing as fake Coco. I got platinum! Hey! I'm never getting that dev time. That's not happening. Well, we got a platinum. What skins have we got? We've got all the skins by now. I th I'm pretty sure we showed this off last time, because we had all the skins when we started the, uh... When we started the Platinum Runs. Biker Coco. Is it Wanda the Wombat? Ugh, I don't like that. I, for I forgot the skeleton version has, like, uh like a weird black outline. You know what? Let's play Skeleton for a little while. Not that it will matter because we're uh, playing as uh, Dingadile again. Oh boy. Eden Regal. Isn't that, uh, isn't that Sam Regal's daughter? Sam Regal being an old hand in anime dubbing. The little slugger, Viral, in uh, Gurren Lagann. 
He's got like bit rolls in Bleach and Naruto. That's more like All right. Now, which way's me dying? What's our time crates like? Okay. So I activate those, and then I, I jump on the thing. His sister. Huh. Okay. Well, that's on a... That seems to be more or less on a timer, so I don't need to worry about, uh... I don't need to worry, worry about getting on the boat as fast as possible. Nope. Nope. Wait. Why do you stop? No, keep going. I know there's a wall, but keep going anyway. I need to use explosives to get that particular time crate, I wonder. I'd probably jump and suck. Wait, no, what do you want me to do? Why did I do that? Well, that appears to be the end, so I can just make that jump, I think. Didn't see those last time. Closer than I should have been. <laughs> I'm still in crash mode. I'm spinning to go faster. Oh, I'm gonna have to switch modes mid-level too because we're gonna switch to crash. I do kind of appreciate the ding out levels because I don't have to worry about doing the, uh, like, the spinning tech anymore. Going blind now. I don't know what's coming. I'm just gonna fire ahead anyway. Eh! No. Ah! Are there two walls of nitro, or did I just not throw it far enough? There's so much memorization for relics. Oh, there's, there's some in that, uh... No, 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 no. Can I just make it from... I can just make it from here. I don't need the boat anymore. Alright, now I'm at two masks. Oh, that's where I'm hitting. There's a TNT over there. That didn't hit those like I'd hoped. Ah. 
Okay. Grab one of these. Bring it over with me. There's the nitros. Anytime there's a TNT, I just kind of have to assume that I'll need it. No! Uh, wasting time! Fuck it. That was awful. Can I just... Yeah, I can just go around these ones. Not those ones. <sighs> hate. I hate it. Well, this run is dead, but I will continue the attempt just for the sake of scouting. That's where the crash Coco takeover happens. And that's just a harder version of this part of the level. Man, I'm gonna have to do the I'm gonna have to do the boat part again. Not the boat part, the uh, surfing part again. I'm plenty practiced at this part. Oh, those I want to jump on. Noted. And then the downriver section. Now with even more boxes that I need to hit, and probably more shit to dodge. That's okay, I got another mask as well. Just practice. <laughs> they booby-trapped the ramps, that's mean. Fake crash, still having a good time. Yeah, that's a trap. I can't be boosted on that ramp or else I get hit. Alright. Sapphire. That was still a gold. I need 46 seconds off of that to get platinum. Oh boy. Well, I got the gold I set out to get. Uh, I'm going to take another couple tr uh, t couple cracks at these two levels to see if I can get platinum on them. Since now that I do know I'm going for all platinum, it would be nice to get them all on stream. Still don't know that I will, but uh, all the ones from here on out. Obviously, there's a chunk that I already did not get on stream. There's still there's still a good chunk of the game left too. Maybe I should just go to the next. I'm, I'm just gonna go to the next level. There's too much of this left to try to to try to do all platinums on stream. Oh, I had fake crash in use too. Okay, I have the slow time mask. Oh, I spun the dude into it. That's why those went off.
Why did that got? I don't know why that keeps going off. Because I'm not jumping while spinning. I don't think. Nope. Jump, please. Don't care. Well, those... Okay, those are gonna suck to timing. Brutal. Uh, I'm definitely not jumping. You know what I think it is? I think it's the, the slight... This. This very s little slight extra altitude given by this lip. Yeah, see, I hit it from underneath. That's what's happening. Oh, that sucks. I just have to hit it from the side. I also have to find whatever the right timing is for those stupid... those fish mongers. I can't wait to get the Steam version of this and put subject myself to doing all this a second time. Oh, that's gonna be great. That's such a long time, they're there! use the time slow mask. Maybe that'd be a good idea. You know, that thing that they gave me that I forgot I had. Yeah, let's use that. Turns out I had the perfect tool for dealing with the fish all along. Wait, no. because I'm not using a PlayStation controller. That, that's the problem. That's why I'm not as good at this as I am the original games. It's not me that's wrong, it's the game. Getting caught in too many lips. Maybe this start of the level's the worst of it. Maybe it's just these fish guys, and that's just gonna be smooth sailing after that. There's some obstacles that are a lot worse for time trials than they are for, uh, like, regular level traversal. 
Like these fish dudes and the ropes, anything that's timing is not that big a deal for just getting through the level. But you're doing time trial, they're the worst thing in the world. Oh. Oh, okay. What happened? Why close? Why, why, no more crash? It's like the game doesn't want me to play it anymore. I also never figured this out. Why is there no audio for the intro of the game? Does anyone else have the Switch version? Anyone else watched, like, Let's Plays of the Switch version? Does this happen for everyone else? Clearly there's supposed to be audio here, right? Right? Like, it's weird that there's not. I didn't lose any progress, because it's autosave, so... You just load right back into the level again. Still strange and kind of obnoxious. I, t I told Jack they added a uh, multiplayer to this game. Yeah, like, no thanks, I'd rather play, like, anything else. The response was something along those lines. Maybe it wasn't Jack, maybe I've been thinking of Nick, who was like, yeah, this isn't, like, a party game, though. Which, no, it's not. It doesn't have to be a party game to have, like, fun multiplayer, though. You could get two Crash fans together, have a romping good time playing Crash 4. such a dick move having the TNT at such a such a height that you can't pass through there without very easily setting it off by accident I wonder if it's more reliable to go for that than that switch or to just get good at the at the slide jump probably the slide jump's more reliable of the two So what happens when time is slowed and she touches the swordfish that is moving at a very slow speed relative to her? Is it like some weird stand power? Does she get the full momentum of the of the fully mobile fish, despite it seeming to move slow for her? It's on contact. The full force of the fish at motion ends her time stop. Well, time slow. Underrated villain character. I liked Silver Fox Foxy in One Piece. He was like a he was a joke villain who had the power to like slow down people. I actually thought he had, like, one of the best Luffy fights. Like, him and Luffy versus Usopp, it, it's, it's fun to watch Luffy fight people who are, like, using really underhanded shit to try to overpower his, like, broken Devil Fruit abilities. I don't know, it's, just, it's fun to root for the underdog. I want to root for the guy who has no business winning. touch the ropes, I keep thinking that I can, like, thread the needle between them. I don't know if I can or not.
I don't think I can. No, the rope is spiked. They, they have, like, a visual cue of that. Okay. Well, that makes this harder. I really gotta get the timing for the fish. I'm gonna jinx it by saying that. Why did I do that? I just spin. Why am I an idiot? I ruined it. I was doing so well and I ruined it. They knew what they were doing when they put that TNT there. They knew exactly what they were doing. They tested it and they said, Mmm, yeah, it's just the right amount of bullshit. Keep it in. Good job, Johnson. That was a jump. I don't know if I was supposed to go that far. Why? That was supposed to be a slide, not a belly flop. This is the... Like, after two levels is when I run out of, like, interesting commentary. Now, now I'm just making noises and getting mad at the game. Maybe the Crash 4 stream should be shorter. Maybe it's not good for them to go two hours. We started this level, though. We're gonna finish it. Stop now, I'm gonna lose all this skill that I've accumulated. That wasn't a joke, shut up. I can miss one because I have a mask to tank the hit. Alright, I'm ahead of the ghost on this part. I could have one cycled that. That's not good. Really? Save my masks. I wonder if I'm gonna get to a point to the end this level that uh, that I'm gonna get all three masks. 
I wonder if that's in this one. I did it. One cycled. All right. Doing good. Here's the stupid needle that I don't want to thread. No! I threaded a different needle. That's not really a needle. That's a quite a large gap, but still, I didn't want to fall there. I'm getting it. We're lear I'm, I'm learning. I'm slowly learning the nuances of this level. Lost my mask. Didn't matter. At least, see, if I wasn't streaming this, I could be doing this alongside something else. I could be watching a YouTube video or something. Which sounds like it would be, you know, distracting, like it would make me do worse. It, it really doesn't. This game is, is such a grind, you just kind of accept that you're going to be spending hours upon hours doing this shit. down. I wish you could skip these somehow. It doesn't take that much time, it's just a little annoying as, as many times as you go through these levels to watch the, like, destruction every single time. I'm assuming there's nothing on the left over there. Might bite me to make that assumption, but they wouldn't put anything over there, would they? Ah. Uh, okay, I believe that's mask number two or is that that would have been three? Oh, i still have the thing man okay so there are three masks there are three aku akus on this level which might mean i'm expected to collect all three for the best time that's been less of a thing in this as it has in crash three Still might be a thing, though. It looked like we were coming up to a point of, uh, like, ice, more ice platforming. Which doesn't seem like a part that, uh, having the Aku Aku invincibility would be especially mandatory for. one. I keep missing one of those crates. I don't know what I bounced on there, but that's okay. All right, one cycle. That's not too, that's not hard. I, I can one cycle that consistently.
Whoops. I keep thinking the mask is for dealing with that dude. No, it's for the part that's after him, the actual level. Alright, so I believe that would have been the third mask. And it would not have been especially helpful for this particular stretch, so... I don't think the triple Aku is strictly necessary. <laughs> no, it hurts this game, the fact that Aku Aku masks don't carry from level to level. Do they not? In the, like, playing the game normally? Uh, they can't, obviously, for time trials. They never have for that, but... If that's the case, just like playing through the game normally, I didn't notice that. That does seem like a weird thing to change. I still wish that uh, there was a way to have Mario Maker uh, power-ups carry over between levels. You'd have to limit it in some way. You'd have to make it so that it was only in, like, a user's super world or something. It would be a cool way to make the levels feel more connected, though. This is not a very crashy music track. This doesn't really sound like crash music. You know what this sounds like? This sounds like croc music. This is croc background music. Speaking of... Croc 2 is on the uh, on the potential roster. Maybe that'll be the next thing Jack and I start. Because we were waiting for Croc 2 to do multiplayer, because that game has a very stupid feature where both players can control the character at the same time. Inbuilt to the game, they thought that would just be a good idea. Dev time, you'd have to, like, perfectly know when to turn that off so that the uh, next icebergs are already ready when you get there. I can't even imagine the shit you have to do for the... for the dev times in this game. Ah. Probably could have made that. Now, the third mask isn't going to matter. Because this isn't a part that the invincibility is going to be super important for. crates over there. I do need to make this boat. Alright. We're doing fine. Now I got the invincibility. This is where I would need it. Yes, sir! Wow, there's four masks on this level. Alright, what's our time? Gotta be gold. For that... Yeah, gold. I need like almost twenty. I need almost twenty more seconds off for platinum. 
it seems like a lot, but it's not as bad as it, it as it sounds because these are long levels and you end up finding there are a lot of places to uh, cut down time. It is still pretty intensive for uh, for platinums, though, obviously. Okay, how many levels do we have left? We have one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, there's so many. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's gonna be fun, the great escape. 16, 17, 18, 19. That's a lot. That's a lot of levels I still got to do. Oh, that's a lot more streams of this. And how many? How many do we do this stream? Four. I think we got four levels done. Even if we keep that pace of four levels per stream, which is a lot to ask for the later game, for the later levels in this game, that's still five more streams of this. I'll probably be able to do longer ones. I'll, I'll probably do ones with more than uh, more than four levels in the future. This was just kind of get, like getting back into it because I, I haven't played this game in a long time. But uh, I'm going to start doing it more consistently. Summer's almost here. I'm going to be doing a Skyward Sword marathon after we finish the uh, randomizer streams. Probably do take some more out of this. I got Book of Mario yet to finish. There's, there's plenty of time for streaming coming up. That's going to be it for today, though. Thank you guys for hanging out, and I'll see you probably next weekend for the ending of the Ocarina Majora Randomizer. Adios.